I like this modular kayak because I can pack it inside my car. It can be assembled in 30 seconds. If you use 4mm thick cobbler to build it, it should weigh less than 20 pounds. And it is also fun to pedal. I can also sit higher and it is very comfortable. In this video, I'm going to tell you more details on how I built this boat. The Coral Plus can handle some abuse. The double hull design provides you extra safety and any damage can be repaired very easily. The best part in building this boat is you can build a 12 feet long boat with the 4 feet by 8 feet corpus without heat fusing the sheets. If you're in Portland, Oregon, you can get a 4 feet by 8 feet 4 millimeter thick corpus from this company for less than $17 a sheet. You need 4 sheets to build one. The cost to build this boat is less than $100. At this outfit, you can even get the 5 feet by 10 feet sheet. But if you go to Home Depot, you will have to pay a little bit more. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies I mentioned here. I built this boat as an experiment. When compared with my other foldable boats, the semi-rigid design provided a surprisingly stable footing for me to get in and out of the kayak. This is a little bit unexpected. I came across this article last week and I noticed water is allowed to enter and flood part of the drone. Coincidentally, I'm using the same concept in building this kayak. The outer coral plus hull created the basic shape of the kayak. The inner compartments provide flotation. What is allowed to leak into the inner layer of the kayak? A set of L-shaped hooks are mounted onto the base of the kayak. There are holes at the floor of the stern. I insert those holes onto the L-shaped hooks. Then I install a pair of PVC pipes onto the gunnel to lock the bow and stern together and complete the assembly. I modified the design of my Gen 15 solo canoe to create this boat. You can go to my website DIYUSA.org to download the boat plan. You can also go to my YouTube channel to find out more information in building this canoe. I basically cut the boat at the middle to create the bow and the stern sections. I will discuss how I build the rest of this boat in my next video. The boat plans and information I provide on my channel will always be free. The like button is one of the metrics YouTube used to decide if they should promote my video. Please give me a like if you find this video useful and I appreciate your subscription to my channel. Thanks for watching and your support. Bye-bye.